All right. Hello, everybody. It's Matt at Fisher Electronics here. So we're going to do a video of a completion now of a house. Uh, started over a little over a year ago, pre-wiring uh, for internet, home audio, outdoor audio, all of that. Finished product is here now. Here's our bar TV. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole bar area. Clients are still working on moving in, so pardon the boxes and things around, but gonna have a beautiful bar here. Here's our 55 inch. It's gonna be a Sony X90J with a Sonos Arc. So that's gonna complete that system for the bar. Just straightforward, simple. That'll do just fine for audio in this space. Moving over to their main theater area. Now we're gonna move to the Sony X95J with the Sonos Arc again. 75 inch. Um, there it is on the wall. As we pan back to this area, we're going to use a Sonos amp as far as the uh, uh, speakers for the rears, in-wall speakers. There's one there, there's one there. They blend quite nicely into that colored wall, actually. But there's our rear speakers. So that's going to complete the home theater for the basement area with a sub um, over, whoops, pardon me, over in the uh, back left corner over there. So that is the basement area of this system. I'm going to step out on the patio for the outdoor speakers. This house is right on the shore of Lake Erie. You have a beautiful view. Weather today, well, not the greatest weather. Cold in the 40s with a nice cold wind off of Lake Erie. But give it a few weeks, mid-April, it'll be a whole different story. So out here for their patio area that's coming soon, here are our two outdoor speakers uh, in the corners there for audio. Up there is our access point for Wi-Fi. Because uh, let me tell you, you're not going to get a lot of good Wi-Fi out here when you have stone on your house and those glass doors that'll or windows that'll block Wi-Fi real quick. Um, so we did pre-wire for an access point, knowing that yeah, you're most likely going to need one, and you did. But they do have a beautiful area out here. Here's their patio area coming down. It's probably going to be their fire pit over there. More area there. And there. There's the audio for that. I'll turn around again. I'll give you a nice, another nice little shot of Lake Erie. And then we'll go in and we'll take a look at the rack. And then we'll move to the main floor. Okay, so moving into the unfinished portion of the, biz, the basement. Um, here's the main brains of the operation. <clears throat> here's our rack. Um, again, we have a Wi-Fi system through the house. All the TVs are hardwired. Um, four access points in this house. And for this, we used a Luxel uh, Wi-Fi system for, a, for their access points and their outdoor. So there's five access points currently in this system. A um, couple network switchers. Uh, using Panamax for our power uh, conditioning and surge protection. Um, all of our lines are here. Then they're going to our switchers, which where, um, where they need to be. Most of our Sonos amps are going to be here in the. Uh, <clears throat> most of our Sonos amps, excuse me, are going to be here in the basement, uh, patio, kitchen. Up there is the one for the theater. And then upstairs in the cabinet to the left of the fireplace um, is where the amp is for the surround upstairs on the main floor, which we'll be going to next. So that is our rack system. And we'll head upstairs. All right, so we're upstairs. Here's one access point from the kitchen area going into the main entry. And here's our main TV, 65 inch with a Sonos arc above the fireplace. Um, this one does have a Sonos amp for the rear speakers, and I'll turn and show you those here. Beautiful view of the lake, by the way. There's one there, one over there in the wall. Sonos amp and switcher and things are going to be down here in the cabinet with the Roku for the TV. Now what we did, we put a chase in the wall during uh, pre-construction, so wires could be run from there 
up inside the fireplace and coming out the back of the TV. So that is what we did there, and I strongly encourage that. Like I said, I strongly encourage that for fireplaces when they're building them in homes because you really want the ability to run any wires if you need to um, have that capability. It's open, why not just do it at that point in time? Save yourself that trouble if it should come up. So as we move along, we do have another access point here. Again, we're using Luxel. And then we come down the hallway, going into the master bedroom area. And this is our third access point. There is one more in the system. So I'll turn around and we'll show you that as we move. And we come around. Now we do have a TV in there in the study. Here's our access point here. Coming into the opening. As we move through this area of the hallway. <clears throat> we'll come here, turn left, and we have an access point right here right next to their elevator, uh, because we know we're gonna need Wi-Fi out in this area, pardon me, out in this area of the house also. And when we turn around from here, here's our straight shot into the kitchen. So we have an access point there, and then the next follow-up is right up there in our kitchen. Head back downstairs. We did do a uh, Wi-Fi analysis um, of this on all three levels, walking around, um, taking Wi-Fi signal levels with our computer, uh, basically like a heat mapper, saying, okay, what is our signal level with those four access points and the outdoor access point? Signal levels were basically negative 40 to negative 52, um, 56 in a few far corners of the house, and that was on 5G. Um, so. Uh, very good uh, for all of that is concerned. Um, if there was an area that could probably need one on the second floor, it would be that corner above the lake room. And I'd advise them of that, and that might happen. But again, they've actually been complimenting us on the Wi-Fi. They say their cell phone is not good. Wi-Fi is outstanding through the house. Like, okay. Uh, I didn't even have to ask them that, so I'll take that. But... Uh, but yeah, long story short, again, this was a good client of ours. They started building this house and contacted us when they were building it and said, hey, we need you to take care of our internet, our televisions throughout the house, um, just a little bit of audio outside, uh, that sort of thing. So we started about a little over a year ago, got it all pre-wired for speakers, access points, um, hard lines to all the TVs. That's one thing I should mention, all the TVs and the Roku's and the Sonos is all hardwired um, so that it's not on Wi-Fi. Well, the subs are, but because um, they don't have a thing plugged into them, but the arcs are hardwired. So everything at the TV locations would be hardwired into our network switchers. Um, but yeah, this is a start to finish and um, my apologies, I didn't get any video other than the end point, but when you're out here doing the pre-wires and that, it's just sometimes hard to get any good video effectively of, hey, here's uh, what we're pre-wiring here now, and here's some open studs of the house and all that. So, yeah. But again, turn the set back on for their bar television. Uh, Matt at Fisher Electronics. You can visit us at fisherelectronics.net. Um, we do, whether it's new construction or renovations or even your existing home, Wi-Fi, television installation, home theater, um, anything and all of that type of thing. <clears throat> so we do do those things for clients in their homes. We'll finish this video up here. Visit us at fisherelectronics.net. Any questions or things, throw them down in the comments section. We'll go from there, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, have a good one, everybody.